Terry, thank you for all of your hard work on this and, and everything you have done. It, uh, it really is just exciting to see it happen. And thank everybody for being here. You know, it is so important, I think, that we, in all the different ways that we can, remember our history. Uh, remember who we were so that we can always hold on to that history. And this building today and what we're going to be doing here, I think marks a significant step in that, in that remembrance. It's the only remaining building from Newtown, which was a historic African-American community. It was built by freed slaves that were still working to obtain that, that, that freedom and, and, the, uh, and the, the equality and, and justice. And it was a meeting place. It was where the community came and met. And I think why it's so important that we celebrate buildings is because as communities change and communities grow, there's always the pressure, as I think as Terry was saying, to bring in the bulldozer and to take it down and build something new. And as we do that, we become like everybody else. And this is, how, this is one way that we can all work together to hold on to our heritage as to who we are, to remember where we came from in our roots and our ancestors and the people who worked to make Blacksburg the community that we all are proud to be part of today. So thank you all for, for just turning out to, to be part of this celebration. I would like to introduce the three trustees who are here who are responsible. And as I call y'all's name, if you would not mind coming up because I'm going to ask you to say a few words. But Mr. Walter Lewis. <laughs> Go ahead, stand by me if you would. Thank you. Mr. Aubrey Mills. And Ms. B. Walker. While I have you all up here, I want to thank you because it's because of your efforts, tireless efforts, that you kept the, the, this, the Odd Fellows Hall going, you kept it here intact, and then you gave it to us, the community, to celebrate with you the history that this represents. So thank you all very, very much for what you've done. Now, if you'd like to say a few words. My name is Walter Lewis. Yeah, let me get that out of your way. I'm sorry. I moved to Blacksburg in 1951. And at that time, this building, Odd Fellow St. Loops, was the only place that for blacks, for social events, dinners, sock hop for the children, and etc. And I just want to take a minute out to thank the mayor, the town of Blacksburg, the museum committee, and all gathered for preserving the heritage of this building. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You are so beautiful. I didn't know so many of your kids. I am Beatrice Walker. I am a member of the St. Luke Lodge. And I want to thank everybody that has made it possible for us to renovate this place because it needs to know, you all need to know the history of the St. Luke and Art Fellows Hall. And I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank Alvin Hugh particularly, who started the members of the St. Luke's in 2004 to try to save this building. Because it was in the paper that this was an endangered structure. And he went to the courthouse, he got the deed and everything, trying to save this building. And I am so glad that we have saved it. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. Thank you again. I'm Aubrey Mills of Blacksburg, and uh, I was a member of the Oddfellows at one time, 
in this building right here. I was initiated in this building into the lodge. And then it was a little scary there at first when I first come into the lodge, you know, because they had this casket laid around, you know, <laughs> and they had different things up on the wall, you know, which I wouldn't want around my house, you know. But I finally, <laughs> after so many meetings and all like that, you know, I finally got my feet on the ground, you know. And I, I was an active member here for, I guess, about, about 12 or 14 years. And it really was nice, you know, they had um, dances here, had bands, live music, uh, had a Boy Scout troop we used to meet here. And, uh, well, everything that went on in the town of Blacksburg, as far as Afro-American was concerned, it went on in this building here. And it's really nice that the town of Blacksburg has decided to preserve this building in remembrance of the Afro-American that's in Blacksburg. Thank you.